Hello, I've come on to share a bit of sad news. Um, about two weeks ago, we had to help our dog cross the Rainbow Bridge. Um, you might have seen uh, short videos that I've put on YouTube of um, Fergus on his walks. Uh, I have shared the news on my Instagram and Facebook, but I know that not everyone who watches my channel will be on there. And um, since I get quite a few comments and... Um, people liking my videos I thought it would be nice to just let people know I had been quite consistent with posting so um, some people might have noticed that that's um, dropped off uh, I obviously do hope to get back to it I've got a few things to share but at the moment I'm obviously just trying to get used to a new normal he was a huge part of our day um, mine in particular because I work from home so he was my office buddy he was an older dog, so he was 11 and a half. Um, he was a giant breed, so um, their life expectancy is about 10. We did enjoy our walks, and I had been posting them on here, which is one of the reasons I had, um, I've come on just to explain. Um, that he sadly is uh, no longer with us. Um, it's been a huge change to my day because... Uh, I didn't really realise how much our day was tied into each other. Um, it's not um, until I don't have to do these things anymore or I don't have to do them in a, such a routine way that um, I realise <laughs> just how much of my day he did take up, um, which was lovely, of course. Um, it is very odd. Uh, the silence is still deafening. Um, he obviously wasn't a noisy dog, but it's just, I'm sure people who've lost uh, pets will understand. But he was more than a pet, you know, he was part of our family. Uh, and like I say, he was a big dog. I'm really missing our cuddles. And um, when he would sit up and I would kneel, or kneel down and um, cuddle him, because he was about the size of a toddler. <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it, he gave good hugs. <laughs> um... Yeah, like I say, we are trying to get used to a new normal. Um, obviously, I'm still having moments where I'm extremely upset. But on the whole, I'm I'm okay. And um, I'm finding a lot of comfort in the memories that, that we obviously have. And um, the photographs. And in fact, I am trying to scrapbook one at the moment. So this is one of my favourites because it's obviously in the autumn. And he's just so fluffy there. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I'm just trying to scrapbook that one at the moment. Um, and, and no doubt there'll be others in uh, from the past that I obviously want to scrapbook as well. And we are getting a canvas done. Um, we do have one canvas up already, which we got uh, done a few months ago. <laughs> Other than that, yeah, we're just kind of taking each day as it comes. Um, I'm... Yeah, I don't really have much more to say. Um, like I said, I did post it on my Instagram and Facebook page. So uh, if you do follow me there, you, you might have already seen it. Um, I think that's probably it for now. I don't want to just waffle on. Um, but I will be back at some point with some videos. Um, I have some... I think I've got some recorded that just need scheduling. Um, I've also got some that I need to record. So yeah, just trying to keep myself busy. Thank you um, so much for coming along and watching. And uh, until next time, cheerio.